In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body and blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Sancti Michael Arcangeli, defendenos in predio, contra nequitiam et insidias diaboli esto presidium, imperatri Deus subicest de precamor, tuque princeps militia celestis, satanam adiosque spiritus malignos, quer perdizione manimarum pervagantur in mundo, divina virtute in infernit vitrude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we enter into these glorious mysteries, we give thanks to God for the intercession of Our Lady and for the graces that He has in store for us as we prepare for and make this consecration to her motherly heart at the end of May. And we also give thanks for prayers answered. Several of you wrote in uh, giving thanks for, for graces received. Among them, a member of one of your families who had been, uh, who had been suffering from, from depression and anxiety and who's now had the peace of his heart and soul restored. So thanks be to God for that, and we will continue to pray for him. And also for, uh, for a joy that's about to happen, that is for young Nina. Nina is about to make her first Holy Communion tomorrow. So congratulations, Nina. We're going to pray for you right now and all the other children who will be making their first Holy Communion tomorrow. And I know that you and your, your siblings pray with us each day. So I would ask you, please, to pray for me tomorrow when you receive your first Holy Communion. There are very special graces available at that, in those first moments after you receive the body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus for the very first time. And when you go back and you kneel down and you're praying in your pew, if you would, Please ask Jesus to help Father Polari. Ask Jesus to grant me, uh, to help me become a holy priest, a holy priest who will help people come to love and, and serve him more. And then there's another wonderful blessing, which I'm trying to find, so I read the name correctly. Uh, let me see if I can. Yes, thanks be to God for a young lady who 25 years ago well, I'll just say thanks be to God for Kate and all the graces she's received for her health and for the, the donor who made her life possible. And then for the repose of the soul of Teresa, who was just called from this world on Thursday, uh, for all the holy souls in purgatory who are in need of our prayers, and for those in very difficult situations, among them, for Margaret Mary, who is a member of our Rosary Crusade, who has a lot of pain and suffering that she offers up, and also has the, the heavy pain of uh, the only available uh, Mass in the traditional form is over an hour away. Uh, so for the sacrifices that you're making, Margaret Mary, and for what you're offering to God, uh, we'll pray for you right now, for you and for your husband that special graces of courage, of hope, and of a joy that only God can give in His time and His way might enter down into your heart and soul. And for many others, uh, one in particular I just received right now, uh, whose intention is private, uh, in very difficult situations, that Our Lady might grant them the wisdom and the courage to follow our Lord faithfully. St. Joseph, 
terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and all his minions, and protect us with thy mighty staff. Thou fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children, fathers, mothers, families, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while thou art near. So we beg of thee, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Joseph, the terror of demons, pray for us. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of your divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in union with all the holy masses which are said throughout the world, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Punctius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come, the judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord from the dead. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <coughs> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, zeal for the salvation of souls. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven.
we ask for the fruit of the mystery, true devotion to Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Our Lady, Queen of heaven and earth. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, the grace of final perseverance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. O Jesus, I choose to live this day for love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. Regina Celi Laetare Alleluia <coughs> Sorry, let me begin again. Regina Celi Laetare Alleluia Quia Quem Erubisti Portare Alleluia Resurrexit sicut dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Gaude letare virco Maria, Alleluia. Quia surrexit Dominus fere, Alleluia. Oremus. Deus, qui per resurrectione infili tui, Domini nostri, Iesu Christi, munum letificare digna tu sens, presta quesumus, ut per eius genetricem Virginem Mariam perpetue capiamus cauria vitae, perium dem Christum, Dominum nostrum. Amen. And may Almighty God, through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Pour his graces upon each one of your families. Benedictio de Onipotentis, Patris et Filii Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maniat semper. Amen. And on this first Saturday, you will have available to you right now the meditation on the first glorious mystery on our Lord's resurrection for the first Saturday. And in case you're new to this Rosary Crusade, every first Saturday, Regina Angelorum Press offers a meditation on uh, for 15 minutes on one of the mysteries of the rosary and that's to help people live the first saturday devotion which our lady requested at fatima and so the the goal is to help people a lot of people find it's difficult to meditate for 15 minutes and this is a way of teaching people how helping people to be able to spend that time with our lady meditating upon one of the mysteries of the rosary and so please, uh, if that's helpful for you, take advantage of that and feel free to share that with others. And then we will, uh, for those who've been following that, we will pick up again after the Easter season 
with the sorrowful mysteries which we began, but during the Easter season you'll have the, uh, the glorious mysteries to meditate upon. For our ninth day of preparation for the total consecration to Jesus through Mary, we're once again looking at a vision given to St. Gertrude. And this vision begins in the monastic office of Nun. A nun literally means ninth, and so the ninth hour from when the sun came up, which was about three in the afternoon, sometimes two in the afternoon, depending on the monastic community. St. Gertrude recited Nun with special devotion. It was revealed to her that on the previous, the day previous to the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, so on August the 14th, the Blessed Virgin had been so absorbed in God from the hour of Nun until the moment of her happy departure from this world as to have nothing human in her, to live only by the Spirit of God and to taste in anticipation all those celestial joys which she soon experienced perfectly and eternally in the bosom of God, and that at the third hour of the night, so 3 a.m. on Assumption morning, our Lord came for and took her to himself with exceeding joy. In the evening, at Vespers, so as St. Gertrude is praying Vespers uh, on, on the Assumption, the saint beheld our Lord drawing into his heart all the praises which had been chanted in honor of his blessed mother, and from thence pouring them forth upon her in an impetuous torrent. So as the nuns are singing Our Lady's praises, Jesus is gathering up those hymns and then pouring out this torrent to Our Lady. As the antiphon Ista Pulcres was chanted, St. Gertrude offered the words to our Lord through his sacred heart, in memory of the sweet caresses he had bestowed on his blessed mother by the same words. And this devotion passing through the heart of Jesus to the heart of Mary encircled her like a cincture of stars, consoling her, that is, consoling Our Lady, in a marvelous manner. Many of these stars appeared to fall to the ground, but the saints gathered them up, presenting them to our Lord with joy and admiration. This signified that all the saints obtain obtain ineffable joy, glory, and beatitude from the superabundant merits of the Blessed Virgin. Those are big words. Let me, uh, I'll come back to that. I know, we, so for the children, hang in there. I'll explain that to you in just a few moments. When the community chanted the response, Que est ista, the angels united with them in singing it. Our Lord himself intoned the ista especiosa, the Holy Ghost animating his divine heart, to praise and glorify the most excellent of all creatures. At the hymn Quem Terra Pontus, the Blessed Virgin seemed unable to contain the plenitude of her delights and reclined on the bosom of her son until the words, O Gloriosa Domina. Then she appeared as if aroused by the devotion of the faithful and extended her hands, so it's Our Lady extending her hands over the faithful to protect them and to console them by her maternal love. At the verse Deo Patri, she rose again and made three profound genuflections in honor of the ever-blessed Trinity. And then she continued praying for the whole church until the Magnificat. And so what, is, what does our Lord want to teach us? How are these apparitions designed to help us grow in our love of Our Lady? There's our, St. Gertrude is seeing once again the Our Lady adoring. You see Our Lady making genuflections towards her son. So seeing Our Lady offering her worship, her adoration of God, of God who is her son, even while in heaven, she continues doing that. And then you also see and this is where it's hard to express in words, of course, even St. Gertrude trying to describe the vision, the incredible joy of Our Lady. And that's very helpful to hear because we, we could imagine Our Lady arriving safely in heaven and then she's sort of sitting peacefully there and looking at us, but she has a fullness of life and joy, of, of excitement, for lack of a better word, uh, fullness of life that we can't even imagine in heaven. And so these visions are meant to help us have some far-off glimpse 
of, for example, when it says the Blessed Virgin seemed unable to contain the plenitude of her delights and reclined on the bosom of her son until the words, so almost as if she's fainting with joy um, uh, under, under her son to hold her up in heaven. So that's meant to give us a glimpse of this fullness of joy that it's not as if she arrived there, she was happy, and now she just sort of settles down. But, but this fullness of joy in life that Our Lady has in heaven. And then the other point I want to draw your attention to is this phrase where it had a number of, of big words, I know for the children here perhaps, saying, <coughs> excuse me, that this vision of the way the prayers are offered and the fruits coming from our Lord signified that all the saints obtain ineffable joy, glory, and beatitude from the superabundant merits of the Blessed Virgin. What does that mean? The superabundant merits of the Blessed Virgin, that that's, that's, the, that's how all, even the saints, obtain joy, glory, happiness. This ties in very much with the teaching of St. Louis de Mumford, that Our Lady, if you drew together all of the merits, all of the good works, all the prayers, all the sacrifices of all the saints throughout history, and of everybody, everybody who's ever lived, even those who, who aren't canonized saints, and you, if you were, if you weighed them on a scale compared with the value of what Our Lady offered our Lord during her, her lifetime, what Our Lady offered would still be infinite, infinitely or far, far greater than the value of everything else because of the, the depth of the purity of her love for our Lord. And so part of this teaching is that to recognize, to be grateful for, to embrace the incredibly powerful role that Our Lady has as our mother, and to rejoice in that role and, and, and embrace that role, let her pray, play that role more and more of obtaining graces through her prayers from our Lord. And the second aspect of that is that, of course, Jesus Christ's merits, what he merited for us on the cross, is, is infinitely powerful, is lacking in nothing. Every grace, every single grace in the world, anything good, comes from our Lord. And so any grace distributed by Our Lady, even her good works, come completely from our Lord's graces. So everything comes from Him. But He chose, He freely chose because of His love for His mother, because He wanted to give us a mother to play this role. He freely chose to give her this role as queen, as mediat mediatrix of graces, as the one who distributes His graces as St. Louis de Mumford says, to whom she wills, when she wills, as much as she wills. That's, that's at the heart of the beautiful teaching that St. Louis de Mumford gives us and the other saints have experienced um, in so many different ways, that Our Lady has this incredibly powerful role because of the free, gratuitous choice of our Lord, and that chose to allow her to have this abundance of merit, which is also more valuable than, than all the works of all the saints throughout all of history. So let us give thanks on this day for that role of Our Lady and realize how incredibly powerful she is and turn to her in everything and give thanks to God for the joys that she has right now in heaven. So on this first Saturday, I wish you a blessed uh, remainder of the first Saturday. May Our Lady obtain for you graces of joy and a reminder that if it is helpful for you, you have available right now the 15 minutes of meditation on a mystery of the rosary uh, to keep company, keep Our Lady company during those 15 minutes. God bless you. And we'll pray now the Memorare of St. Bernard. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help, or sought that intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly into thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. <laughs>